Uh, next, I'd like to demonstrate another aspect of polarized light. Uh, this one involves an invention that we did right here at uh, Weber State University in our laboratory here. And uh, we've developed a way to uh, demonstrate uh, such things as the double slit interference pattern using polarized light as a means to an end. Let me uh, illustrate uh, what I'm referring to. Here I have a piece of uh, material that is uh, arranged so that it polarizes light uh, in a series of concentric rings. And uh, to show you that, I have an identical piece on the overhead here. And I'm going to put a uh, uh, piece of another uh, polarizer here and see that we have a series of concentric rings. And when I turn the one set with respect to the other, one polarizer with respect to the other set of polarizers, then we see those uh, rings move out. Now, when I put this on top of this and spin it, then we have a wave simulator. Well, that's uh, waves as if coming out from a single source. We can demonstrate that if we have two sources, then we get a different kind of a pattern. To see that, I'll just put the two sources together without the rotator in between, and we see we have something that looks very much like the double slit interference pattern. Only this is the two antenna inf interference pattern. We see there are places where we have bright beams of light and other places where we have dark light or no light. Now, let's watch what happens when I put the, uh, the other polarizer in between the two and rotate it, and we'll get those waves to actually move out. We can have the lights turned down, please. And uh, we'll adjust this uh, so that they're about a wavelength apart, uh, maybe a little more. And uh, then rotate this rotator, and we can see the, uh, the wave simulator show the interference pattern from the two uh, antennae or the two uh, slits in the case of the double slit pattern. Using polarized light as a means to an end.